How is it going? Welcome to another episode of our Below Zero adventure. Thank you so much for being here. We're right outside of the frozen Leviathan and something just looks a little bit different. What is it? Right? Maybe they're not as angry as usual because we're missing some of that green or maybe we finally cured the Leviathan of the Kara. That's right, we created the potion, the Kara is gone, we finished that mission, which is incredible. And now we have a lot to do still. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these, who's thirsty? Let's just have a bunch. Now we need to return to Slothamus, we gotta return to Jon Snow Fox. We have to help out our friend Alan and I can't believe that Sam is actually dead. I can't believe that. I really, you know, I wasn't accepting that last time, like when we heard those PDAs and stuff, but like my biggest question is where the heck is everybody? <laughs> you know, where is everyone? They just up and left? I don't think everyone just died. Well, maybe Marguerite will reach out to us. Usually we get a call when we head back into the slot, like Slothamus, or if we go back into our main base. So maybe Marguerite will reach out and say like, hey, good job, you did it. <laughs> or is there going to be more? Like, what else could there be? Is it just, is Sam's story done? Is Marguerite's story done? Is Alan's story done? No, we know that for sure. Alan's story is not done. We need to go create the last little bit of it. Should I just look in here really fast? Let's just open this up really fast. See if, hey, maybe someone's in here. <laughs> I know we've been here already, but I just wanted to make sure. I'm actually just noticing there's like a heat lamp here. That's fun. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting the series for adding to the fun. It has been an amazing ride and check this out. The sun is shining on planet 4546B right now. Let's go. I'm going to just head back the same way that I usually like to head back. I'm actually, I might grab this fiber mesh. Let me see. What did it take to build? Because we lost a friend last time. I know, right? We need like a box of tissues. We need the silicone rubber, but that's fine. I'm going to grab one of these anyway, and I'll take that. I feel like this game has been a lot more generous with the nutrient blocks. <laughs> what do you all think? Really cool spot. And I do think we've seen everything there is to see in this area anyway. I wonder, y'all can let me know, for all of Subnautica Below Zero so far, what percentage would you say we have seen, you know, thus far? I would say, I mean, this is pretty darn, like, we've got most of it. But there are so many twists, so many turns, and look at this, I'm seeing quartz now. No way, we had a battle for quartz. Let's just take a look at our map as well. So we want to, we, we do want to head towards Jon Snow Fox, I guess, right? So we, we do want to head northeast. Yeah, which is like this way. Let's just keep going this way then. We have a flare ready just in case anything wants to attack us. We found a lot of hidden secrets last time too, right? Over on the other side where the bridge is, we found a secret entrance and we also found the teleporter. Which probably would have been the best way to go about this. I'm now realizing we should have just used that teleporter. I wonder, does this lead us to that? Because that would be great. What is this? Oh, this is it. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. This is it, the robotic center. This is where we lost Gabby. Yeah, this is so perfect. So what we're going to do is we'll just teleport back to Jon Snow Fox, who has a little bit of power left, not a whole lot. And then we'll head back into Slothamus. Well, well, we'll charge up Jon Snow Fox. Let's do a quick save so nothing bugs out. All right, and let's do it. Let's go. Awesome, we are back. This was a really cool discovery. I don't think there will be many more. 
The only other teleporter we've found thus far was the one that Alan needs to use to go back home. Why am I having so much trouble with this? <laughs> There's got to be an easier way. Here we go. Yeah, that's the only other one. Yeah, we have a ton to build. Ton to build. Because we also found some really cool alien eggs in the last episode. So maybe it's time we build that alien containment. I am thinking that the egg is probably just, it's probably just a peeper, but we'll see. All right, let's see, this leads us out. Look at that. And here we are, John. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Let's go ahead and turn on Slothamus. You ready to get the heck out of here? <laughs> Let's do it. it. It should be this way. 31 power, 83 health. We really put in the work. This is that one mining place. That was an epic out of water adventure. Really fun. And the ice worms are even cooler that they follow you into the tunnels and stuff. We are crossing the bridge. You can hear the creatures roaring. <laughs> it's like, why would you ever? I wonder if you can actually close the bridge again. 27, 27% power. But you're gonna get a great charge in, my friend. Here we go. You get to relax now. Good job, John. 63% health. There it is. Round of applause for John Snow Fox. They put in the work the past couple of episodes. Well done. You get to just relax now, my friend. It's time to get out of here for us. Do we think that someone's going to call us as soon as we enter Slothamus? Maybe. Let's actually go ahead and see what it takes to make Allen. Um, we have that to worry about, gel sacks. So the root, the root postule thing, I gotta see if I actually have that in like our, in our data bank. The only thing I can really think of is maybe like uh, there was some root thing we ate before down in the, like below the icebergs. Come on, oh, there's no RO. There's no RO right now. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say root anywhere on there, but it does kind of have like the yellow glow a little bit, right? Slothamus! I missed you, buddy. Let's go. Is Marguerite gonna call? No one? No one's calling? It's just us. Let's pilot this up. All right. We have to head back. There it is, everyone. Let's park this up. We've got LePron with us. We've got it all. Awesome. Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's make this work here, buddy. What's, what's blocking us? Enter! We made it, everyone. We made it home. Welcome aboard, Captain. After a massive adventure. Ah, yes. Home sweet home. I miss them. I miss Gabby. Uh, we do have another poster to hang up really fast. One last poster. Let's put it right over. Here we go. Doesn't want to go right next to that one, huh? Well, I guess we'll put it on this wall. There you go. Another poster for LePron. Look at this, and now this is inactive. So, one of the things that we need to do, we have a lot to do, everyone. We've got three organs that we need to create. But, something I think will be fun. Dude, don't we have, like, where's alien containment? Oh, here it is. I don't know why I couldn't find that. 
I want to create an alien containment really fast. I think that would be super fun. Let's put them, uh, the alien containment. I don't know. Should we try right here? <laughs> would it, would it fit? The alien containment would fit possibly right here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Um, we do need a ton of glass. So my plan is let's knock out this alien containment super fast. And then we can drop off some of creatures on the inside because we found some really cool new eggs. And then uh, we can get to work on creating Alan. But first things first, we need this alien containment uh, constructed. So let's do it. Let's do it, everyone. And that'll be so fun to have some aliens around. We've got quartz there. Can I actually go ahead. I'll make some glass already. Boom. All right, we've got one glass. We have enough titanium, but we need like eight more quartz or glass if we have, if we have extra glass around here. Oh, we do have a ton of quartz right here, though. That's it for that. Let's go ahead and make this really fast. Boom, there's some more quartz. And we'll also need... Uh, we'll also need a hatch. Which might be a little bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and start a hatch. If, if my memory is serving me like well right now, I'm pretty sure hatch... No, it's just titanium, titanium and quartz. That's fine. Look at that. We definitely have enough titanium. I can even drop one of those off. But we still need quartz. Pretty darn close. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go, we got this. Where did we find this thing? In the kelp caves? We already have it. In the kelp caves. I grabbed it. I grabbed it. it was like, hey, this is going to be important at some point. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember where that was. That is amazing. That makes me happy. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and make a little bit more of this glass really fast. We do have random stuff in here. Nice power cell. Well, while I'm looking at this power cell, what does it take to create the cooler power cell? The ion one. This one right here. Oh, you need a... Uh, you need a couple of gold and lithium and stuff. Do you have an ion cube in here? We do have one of these. We need gold and lithium. We have one gold left and then just a little bit of lithium. There we are. We can make one of these and at least it's, it's one. And here is the ion battery. Which is so much better, dude. Just use that for the sea glide and stuff, right? Yo, the ion battery is officially done. The ion battery is officially done, but we need two of those. We need two. That's wild, man. I don't know if we have enough. If we have enough gold. Oh, we do have enough gold. So we just need another, we need another one of these and then we need one lithium. We need one lithium everyone, which I know we have in our sea truck right now. We have it in our storage over here. Dude, what was that crazy shadow? Did you just see something? <laughs> Yo, that was wild. I don't know. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I feel like I'm not alone right now. There we go. There we go. Oh, we've got, we've got plenty of lithium here. We're gonna do it just one at a time. Let's create one more battery. There's that. And now to create the other thing. Oh, we just need the rubber. We just need the rubber and we can create one power cell. Ion power cell. I wanna create two of these for when we're ready to, uh, to go down below. And that should be pretty good. What was the other thing we needed? Oh, we just need a wiring kit. Just grab a little bit of silver. There we go, wiring kit, no problemo. Go ahead and we can just take that out. And we now have an ion power cell, everybody. <laughs> 
at least one i mean that alone is going to make a huge difference look how nice that is that is great but let's get back to business let's get back to business right now also just drop off these random we don't need any of this we're just gonna turn on our scanner and we're gonna look for a bit of quartz really fast Look at that snowman army over here. I love it, dude. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Do this. Welcome make some... Aboard, make the rest of this glass. Seek fluid intake. I'm gonna make one extra glass just in case. Um, but this looks pretty good. Okay. Dude, what did it take? Didn't we get, like, a new food thing? We are hungry right now. We got a bunch of new things. The fruit salad. We need a plant leaf. Let's try making one of these really fast. We need a plant leaf and, and some of this. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make one. The fruit salad, everyone. Here we go. Shut that right off. This actually works out perfectly because we need to build this aquarium up there or the uh, alien containment unit. Let's get that builder out really fast. Yeah, this should be good. <laughs> Dude, as long as we can still access our water. An aquarium just for looks or your own personal sushi factory, you decide. <laughs> You decide. Wow. It seriously is so awesome. Yeah, very cool. I loved having the double level one as well in the last game. Let's go ahead and try making a hatch really fast. This is perfect. Yeah, we have plenty. I actually, uh, I don't have any of the eggs with me. So th that's a problem. <laughs> Okay, so. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to use my knife on this thing? Yeah, look at that. We're going to be able to make two fruit salads. Or what was it? Fruit salad, right? We're going to make two of these. We're going to make it right over here. Uh, because we got to go grab those eggs anyway. Let's check this out. See if it lives up to the hype. The spicy fruit salad. Dude, I love spicy stuff. And I love fruit. Let's do it. Fruit salad does not traditionally involve leaves, but at least it is nutritious and warming. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go, Frosty. Well, that's nice. Let me take a look at that. Yo, H2O. 30 food 85 body heat 100 a surprisingly delicious salad with warming effects vital signs stabilizing that's actually pretty darn good because like it doesn't expire right everything else has that meter but not that we're gonna do i'm gonna start with i'm gonna do those the, the two little creatures here whatever where are they these these are probably peepers but let's do this first <laughs> that is a really hard creature to find and we can also get rid of all of that they'll be our first eggs here 
let's go somewhere right over here so we can actually see this. Oh, I forgot you can actually plant things inside as well. Creature egg, we're dropping them. Those are definitely peepers, right? No, dude. These are the penguins. <laughs> what? This has got to be the baby penguins. I can't believe that I didn't think of that. I was the only thinking of the snow stalkers. Yo, the eggs look awesome. What's up, buddy? I can't believe... Oh, man. The comments for that one are probably going to be brutal. It looks just like it. Dude, that is so amazing. Well, we're going to have friends. Philip is going to have some friends now, right? <laughs> this is all good. Yeah, everything looks great to me. Um, cool. Let's have some water as well. So, now that we did that, what is our next step? Our next step should be... Let's see. Do we have any extra gold? By any chance? I would love to have two of those power cells. Looks like we're out of luck. Just kidding. We have that. So, I say let's just make one more of those ion power cells really fast. Yeah. I say let's do that. Because we have almost everything we need. Especially because we have so many of these. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now, what can we do? We can make all of that. We need a little bit of silver. We actually need a little bit more lithium. And that should be good. Yeah, unless I'm just not seeing it. But luckily, we could, we're just right here. We need two ion batteries. Oh, a little bit more silver. Okay, we got to go all the way back to the front. All the way to the front. Because we have no more silver here. But we should have plenty of silver here. This is actually the perfect amount we need. Okay, we're making another battery. We can make a wiring kit. And for our last trick, we need that silicone rubber. Which is right here. Awesome! Dude, two ion power cells. Let's go. We're putting in the work, everybody. We're getting it done. We can get rid of all of this. Okay, so what should our next trick be? I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I can't do anything until we make another Gabby. I just feel so bad. So what did it take to make this? <laughs> we need a wiring kit. Oh, no. I think we're just completely out. Why the heck is there a gold in the silver? I mean, just who organized all this? Seriously, I want to know. They did an awful job. We tried our best. To, like, make sure everything stayed organized during this playthrough. Um, Y'all can give me a scale, a rating score, 1 out of 10. How did we do with our storage and organizing skills? I'm going to give it maybe a 2 out of 10. So don't worry. You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's been awful. It's terrible. We need one battery. Is there a battery in here? Just take this one battery. Now we need silicone rubber and one titanium and there we go we can make a new gabby where are they <laughs> let's go everyone spy pangling made a new spy pangling there we go now we feel good they're wondering what happened to the first one look penguin the name is different. We got Gwen now. <laughs> what? Dude, we got Gwen over here. Pen Gwen. That is so awesome. The last one was Gabby. Oh, that's fun. You see, if I never... If the other one didn't uh, disappear all of a sudden, and we don't know how, we would have missed this detail. That's really cool. I wonder how many different names there are. Okay, so... Let's see, what do we need? Let's start working on our friend, Alan. We might have everything. I'm gonna shut this off. Do we have everything we need to construct? We need two ribbon plants. 
three kyanites, and an ion cube. Let's go ahead and grab these ribbon plants. Actually, Welcome aboard, Captain. it wouldn't be a Subnautica episode if we didn't do one ladder fail. Which one should we start with? We'll start with this one. The easiest one. Also, Gabby, get off the screen. <laughs> All right. So we need two ribbon plants. I want this right here. Here's one. We need three kyanite, right? We need an ion cube. Do we have any of those still here? Oh, we do have a couple. And then one more ribbon plant. Where? I guess we could always just go out. I thought we would have a couple of extra, but that's fine. We've got a bunch over here. Luckily, we've been growing a bit of a garden, huh? We are creating the first Owlin artifact right now. Let's go, dude. I was about to say, man, how amazing is this? We planned it perfectly, but like, I expect nothing less. As soon as you enter our base, we're 22 meters below. That's right, perfectly executed. Definitely meant to do that. <laughs> All right, let's create this. Where do we create this? Well, it's not in the regular fabricator, no? Oh, no, no, no. This is going to be, we have to create it down there. That was the whole point. Haven't you been paying attention, Dream? No, this is, we gotta make this down there, okay. So we'll just kind of sort it out a little bit, but we know that this one's done. So we can just put all of this stuff right in here. All of that, that's three kyanite and an ion cube. That is officially done. Now we're gonna work our way through. So the next one is gonna be this, but this is gonna be the toughest one, the skeleton. Oh, this is gonna be a brutal one. So this one will take a lot of work. You need the green juice and we're, I'm pretty sure we might be, no, no, we're not out of gold yet. And then I really hope we have the young cotton anemone. I hope we have enough of that. And then we actually need a little bit of salt. All right, one thing at a time. Let's just, it's like our poster says, right? Just one thing at a time. Let's see if we have, if we have any of those little mushrooms. Well, we actually need three diamonds, so all the diamonds are done. <laughs> Now we need those mushrooms. Did we end up planting those or no? I'll go look at this really quick. Because I can't remember. Ah, this is it right here. We actually have three right on the money. We got three just like that, dude. That was pretty lucky. Do we have any extras though? Oh yeah, we've got a bunch. We have a ton, everyone. We don't need to really worry about it. And then just a little bit of salt, which we have up in our water filtration, but we don't even need to make the trip. And then we have a little bit of gold left. So this should be enough to create this. And now we can create the green juice. Awesome. Good work, everyone. Really good work. Now, speaking of which, uh, this secret code word for this episode is going to be work because we are working for this right now. Okay, so now we need to create the fancy titanium thing, which we, we might not have enough for, but we'll see. We do have one of these, so that's good. Oh, we just need two lithium. I uh, just did this whole song and dance. What's the point of this necklace, dude? I'm actually holding it. Just put it on the floor. It's awful. I don't think that's what Sam would have wanted at all. We got to create like a table or something. Oh, dude, can you can you stop dropping the necklace on the floor, please? <laughs> I'm just going to put it right back in. Um, oh, we had one of these right here, didn't we? We had one of them there the whole time. Well, now we know. What we need is a little bit of lithium. See if we have any extra lithium right over here.
That's actually perfect. We have just enough. And look at that. We're creating that. That's officially done. And now the skeleton is officially done. Let's go ahead. And where should we put the skeleton? Let's put the skeleton right in here. So we need three diamond. That and that. And that is all done. And then there was one. The very last one. The Architect Tissues. Which we might just... We might just have enough of all of this. <laughs> we might just have enough. We've got the synthetic fiber right over here. Like right here. We've been working throughout this whole playthrough. We've been preparing for this very moment. We just happen to have two of those. That was actually crazy lucky. And then two gel sacks. The gel sacks are coming into play? Are you sure you want... I mean, dude. If Alan is using the gel sacks to be a part of him, does that make Alan evil? Right? I'm actually starting to get a little bit nervous now. Because when the gel sacks are involved... I don't know. I don't know, everyone. Don't let your guard down. That would actually be insane. Of all the things they chose, gel sacks. <laughs> Dude, those are all the pieces we need. We're officially... We have everything. Let's get rid of one of these. What was another thing we needed? Um, synthetic that. Yeah, it's all in there right now. Very cool. Very good job, everyone. Very good job. I'm just uh, tossing this out. Like, the fruit salad would have been so good for our out-of-water adventure. But that has passed. It would have been really good for that. Let's go ahead and take that out. And let's go check in on our alien friends. Little baby penguins up there. Uh, they haven't hatched yet. It actually, I forgot, it's going to give us like a little... It will give us a little message. <laughs> It would give us a little message and say like, hey, you know, it's some, uh, you discovered like a new species or something like that whenever they hatch. Yo, what is up everyone? It's the same dream, a different day, same episode though. We're adding to this one. So this is exactly where we ended. It's actually been like a week since I recorded the first portion of this video. That thing right there giving me a jump scare. <laughs> But uh, this is right where we ended, right? So we got like the penguin eggs right here. We created the alien containment. We have everything we need for a massive trip today. Actually, just going to go ahead and take all this. I was curious if we could fit through here. And it's looking pretty good. Um, I'll grab some of these. I don't know why I grabbed that, actually. I'm just going to eat it. But anyway, what is the mission right now is we're going to go head down below. We are going to head down below and we're going to go create Alan. That is our plan. I can't wait to see how this goes down. We have to be near the end. This has to be close to the end of Subnautica Below Zero, which is incredible, right? We created the cure in the last episode and now we gotta take care of Alan and then everyone should be very happy. And we'll definitely have to go check in on Marguerite as well and see if there's like any anything new. I have been having a lot of technical difficulties. My computer actually, like, has been restarting on its own like crazy. I don't know why. So send your energy. Hopefully everything works perfectly today for this recording. Okay, so we have everything we need. I am pretty darn sure we have everything we need to go down to save Alan or to, like, create him. To welcome him to the world. And we have an ion power cell right here. Let's check all the storage real quick. See where we have the other one. It must be over there already. I would imagine we already have it over there. Oh no, it's right here. Ion power cell. Let's go ahead and just take a bunch of these nutrient blocks with us as well. So at this point, I have edited the video for the episode that went before this and i actually saw we had an antidote the entire time in our inventory and i was racing around running all over the place wasting so much time trying to create some more antidotes we just needed one and we actually found one 
um, in that one cave where Sam left uh, left it. So, yeah, that was fun to see while editing. I guess I'll just bring some extra power cells on the off chance we run out of power while we're down there. Do we have anything else? Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, everyone. I am so rusty. It feels like... <laughs> seriously, I haven't played this in so long, it feels like. Let's just take these extra batteries with us. Okay. Let's rock and let's roll, guys. This is finally time. We're taking Slothamus. We're taking Lepron. Dude, an egg discovered. Trivalve egg discovered. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> Trivalve egg discovered, it just said. It's gotta be a penguin, right? What the heck is this? Whoa, we got a new thing. What is this? <laughs> Subnautica surprise, my favorite. Dude, I have been so wrong about this. Pick up Trivalve Blue. Where's the second one? He didn't eat it, did he? Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and scan this. What are you? What the heck? Yo, Trivalve Blue. We have a new creature. Dude, I thought it was... I'm like, no shot is this going to be an Ice Worm. And then I was saying it was an Arctic Peeper. And then finally I'm saying, oh, this is just a Penguin. No, this is something completely different, unless it transforms into a penguin. The trivalve is a brightly colored creature with a flexible ex uh, exoskeleton covering most of its body. It is a naturally inquisitive creature and is capable of bonding with a human companion. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is like the cuttlefish. This is like the cuttlefish. That is so awesome. They have a mental capacity to learn simple commands and can learn tricks. Why, wow, Trivalves um, also have the unique capacity, and I might be butchering that name. You already know I might be butchering that. So we found two of them. Well, I'm happy we found two at least. I wonder how massive they're going to get. Look, they're so happy. Let's just like, before we continue reading, <laughs> let's just like appreciate them. Yo, what is up? Dude, y'all are the first ones, the first ones to be born into this alien containment here. How? How is it born out of water, but raised in the water right now? Right? Isn't that wild? How the heck does that happen? It's so cool. I mean, they got born in the best place ever because we got like a bunch of water all over the place. We got plants. We have a bed, a vending machine, nuclear power, and then we have four guardian snow people. So anyway, um, trivalves also have the unique capacity to demonstrate emotion. Whether this is a form of advanced mimicry or an actual demonstration of feeling is unknown. I am excited to see more about that. Y'all aren't going down with us, though, down into the uh, the terrible place with all the Shadow Leviathans. You're going to stay right here. Y'all help uh, keep the place safe, okay? Well, that was really fun. That's so fun. I mean, this is the thing. Subnautica It's just going to throw you in all different kinds of directions. You're never ready for it. Okay, let's get Slothamus out here. This is the moment of truth. We're going in stealth mode. I've been really digging this. This color combo and everything. That is so amazing. I'm going to do a quick save, just in case. But I was saying, like, my PC has just been crashing a bunch as of late. I think it's overheating or something. So hopefully we can get through this episode without many problems. All right, I'm heading out so we can equip our new power cells. Let's get rid of this one right here. And let's put in the ion power cell. Let's really test this out and see. Let's see how long that's going to last down there. <laughs> and we have everything else. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this off right here. Oh, do we have like three of these random ones? Ah, oh, whatever. Do we have our rebreather equipped? We have our rebreather. We have the booster tank. 
We have the booster tank, but we definitely need more than just the booster tank, just in case things start going south. Here we go. All right, now we're officially ready. Yo, is everyone ready? Everyone's good? Let's go. We got Founder. We got Jeepers. I'm ready to rock and roll. And look at that epic shot of Hidden Base over there. Let's do it. This is dedicated to all the legends. Everyone who's been supporting the Subnautica series. Thank you all so much. I'm excited. We do have everything we need. We do one last check. It's been one week. It's been about a week. Maybe even longer. Let's just double check this. I'm pretty sure past us put everything in all of uh in this right wasn't this like straight up one so diamond so all of that is in there we have the skeleton then there's this one <laughs> there's this one this is with the gel sacks and then the last one is we need the ribbon plant which is this one right here okay so we do have everything good now we're officially ready to rock, to roll. Let's head down there one last time, everyone. What will be the fastest thing to put on? Best friend's house. Best friend's house. Way in this direction. I was about to go in a completely just wrong direction. Let's get that boost. Boost! Dude, we're gonna be using the boost like crazy with the new power cells. Incredible call. We're gonna be able to boost around. We're gonna be able to shock a ton. Because of all of this, we're not gonna be draining a ton of uh, of batteries. And I think this is gonna be the first time LeBron is down there. Unless LeBron wants another play date with Margaret. <laughs> no, LeBron wants the, the journey with us. Okay, so I've done the boost like four times and now we're at 99% power. This is it, Slothamus. This is what we've been training for. Yo, Alan. Alan, we're getting you fixed up today. You're finally going to be able to uh, become like yourself again. But there was a little bit. There was a little bit of like a mystery going on with Alan as well. We were talking about what happened with Alan and some of the other architects, and then he kind of cut us off. He didn't want to uh, mention what happened back in the day. He's like, just focus on getting me back. And we're like, okay. Because he said, please. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a crash fish. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Is this going to be the grand finale? Like, is this the final episode of Subnautica? It might be. I mean, how much more do we possibly have? Right? We just have Alan's story, and, like, I'll go check in on Margaret, but other than that, there's not a whole lot left. This many hours in, we definitely still haven't found absolutely everything. Because I know for a fact we haven't found that propulsion cannon. I wonder if we looked around more around the Mercury. If it would be around there. Like, I don't even remember where we found part one of the propulsion cannon. Wherever we found part one is probably where we would find, like, you know, the rest of it. Okay, so here's Marguerite. Ah, they can tell. They can tell we're on our way. They're just hanging out exactly in the same spot. But yeah, let's just go say hi really fast. We can double check, make sure we have everyone. All right, let's do it. Also, what was that noise? I just wanted to check Lepron again, access upgrades. Yeah, we have everything, he's looking pretty good. So he can go 1100. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Yo, LeBron, what are we doing? All right, LeBron really wanted to go say hello. 
You stay there, LeBron. I'll go all the way around. She has to say something. It's like, hey, we we got the cure. We infected the Kara. Wasn't that part of Sam's mission? I'm walking in. Yo, please say something. Nothing? How is there not more of a story? How is there not more of a story? Nothing to say? Maybe we have to talk with her. Maybe we have to talk with her at the greenhouse? Maybe she doesn't want to talk business here. I get that. All right, LeBron, you're coming with us. I'm really surprised, yeah. All right. I see how it is. Not interested. That's fine. Let's go help our, our real friend, Alan. Dude, how am I having so much trouble? Okay, there we go. Everybody ready? We're at, we're at pretty good health. 90 health. We should have enough water. And let's see if we remember how to do this. It's a bold strategy going down with our whole squad. <laughs> we have the whole trailer and a little prawn this time. So it's it's definitely the most it's been. Okay, yeah, this is all right. Exactly where we need to be. It's gonna be cool to see what Alan like looks like. We had bits and pieces to kind of go off of, but check this out. We have outcrops down here as well. Curious to see if like the time to drill through one of those is any faster. All right, it's time. It's time to put on our A game because we got the Shadow Leviathan. That Shadow Leviathan, it doesn't hold back. Going off of memory here, I think it's all the way to the left. Even though I'm curious, what is going on down there? Just curious, I'm gonna look around. This is where he is, but let's just go look around really fast. Is this a whole other zone? Such a, uh, such an easy one to get lost in. If he was down here, there must be something important. This might all lead to the same thing, actually. What's up? I'm trying to turn around and see the lobster guy, but we can barely turn this thing. Jeez, 85 health. This music is awesome. Okay. Does any of this look familiar? We, we need to find the thing that was a, uh, a giant entrance. Was it this one? I think this was where if you dive down, we had that one artifact, right? We'll look over here for a moment. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're just crashing into everything. Right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, to fix all this up. Where's our repair tool? Here we go. Repair. What is this? Is this like? Uh, is this where the red crystals are? Oh no, it's just gonna be like the same thing. Like you go deep and yeah, there's there's not anything down here except for resources, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, but hey man, we could be wrong. Is there any reason why we wanna go down there? 
Pick up creature egg. Ah, this is gonna be the same thing. It's that one lobster. I wonder, is this considered like its own biome? And it keeps going down over here. Got more of these. I've seen those eggs before in the mining site. Hmm. Just double check the other tank. It does have oxygen, so we're chilling. Yep, just resources. This place is massive, man. This place is absolutely huge. All right, I think if we keep going straight, maybe I saw a red crystal down there, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's try. Pardon me, bladderfish. <laughs> I'm not trying to. All right, we just heard them. Oh, he's right here. We're good. We're good. Go, 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 go. That's just one of them. Okay, okay. This is the entrance. This right here is the... All right, should we go the other way? He was, like, trying to lead us. <laughs> Yo, that was awesome. Go. Go. Wow, that was sick. He swam like right up to us. So this is definitely, oh, this is definitely where we had, uh, where we found it the first time. Come on. Red crystals, where are you at? Visibility down here is, uh, pretty low. Alright, I'm seeing red crystals. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas, everyone. Is it 600 meters? We can go 1,000. Okay, okay. LeBron will be final. LeBron could go 1,100. Feels good, everyone. Feels good to be playing more below zero and to be like in the water because it is starting to get really hot over here. We started this game in the beginning of like in winter and now it's starting to get hotter and hotter. <laughs> so <laughs> this is extra awesome now. You know what I mean? We're heading down into like, I just, if I just get like city vibes from this. It's like a giant red crystal a bunch of skyscrapers, right? That's what it reminds me of. It's like a, a city of crystals. We got that different music right now. 93 power, 99 health. Alan's gotta be so excited. I mean, who knows? Who knows how long he's been out? I can't remember, but it's probably been a long time. And he's finally gonna be able to come back to life. Okay, does anyone see any of the Shadow Leviathans? We need to park directly outside this thing because we have all the resources in here. Everything we need. We need to craft him down there. Oh, I'm swimming right up to that guy. Getting a nice speed boost. We might have two of them chasing after us right now. It's tough. It's tough when you're like this slow. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can hear him. I can hear him behind us. It's tough because I definitely feel like I don't have a whole lot of control. Oh, there's that. Okay. All right. I, I just wanted to go look really fast. I just wanted to go see what the heck was going on over here, if there was anything. There's probably nothing. There is going to be nothing. But I, why do I always have to look? We have we were in the clear. 
Everything was gravy. I'm pretty sure we did this last time, didn't we? Didn't we explore this part last time? Yeah, it's literally a dead end, man. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Go back. This is good because now it's like we're pulling in and then it'll, it'll just be easier to get out of here. All right, 94 health. I've got no eyes on any of the Leviathan right now. Does anyone see them? Any movement? We're going lower and lower. Ready? It's gotta be around here. It's right here. Oh, this is like incredible parking right now. Look at that. We just parked our truck. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Awesome. Okay, let's get all the pieces we need. Have an incredible view Seek here. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. I'm also just going to level this out a bit. Definitely just heard him. Did we end up leveling it out or no? Just wanna be careful. Okay, seek fluid intake. We're just gonna drink this up and let's Vital have a, a bar. Stabilizing. Okay, let's, uh, we might just be able to bring everything, right? I'm just gonna leave behind the ultra high capacity tank. Yeah, and that should give us enough room for everything. So let's just grab all of this. Let's grab all of, oh, it must be everything here. The diamonds and that. Um, did Alan want some nutrient blocks? It's okay. We'll bring, we'll bring nutrient blocks with us. In case he's hungry. Oh, there he is. You know, they're awesome. It's an incredible planet, 4546B. Okay, uh, I don't remember which one we need specifically, but I'm just going to assume it's all of this right here. Yo, see you later, everyone. Let's do this. Let's exit through right here. Wow, right? Dude, go, go, go! <laughs> you said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. This is where we can make you a body. Yeah, this is where it was. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Awesome. And we didn't really look at this last time. Do we have our headlamp on us? Yeah, let's put on our headlamp. I'm liking we're getting some new music right now. Dude, this is cool. Process requires you to build each component before you can assemble the Oh, I know. I definitely understand that. I just wanted to look. Alan, a little bit of patience, please. You waited this long, right? No, I'm messing. All right, we make them, and uh, what's going on over here, though? Is that where they, they turn into? Okay, use fabricator. We have the different pieces here. Let's go ahead and see which one's which. So we have the organs, the skeleton, and the tissue. Which one's the skeleton? I'm going to end with the skeleton last. Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Let's start with the organs here. Ready, everyone? Let's do it. Architect organs. Let's go. <laughs> All right. This is it. Here you go, Alan. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? 22 seconds. You were a scientist, like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So how <laughs> did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Not my mind, my body, my body became infected? This is uh, some of the best music yet, I would say. It's so awesome. I really do enjoy this Alan storyline. 
because then we get to learn more about just the architects. So you here came you go. here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Jeez, I mean, is that a yes or? <laughs> Dang, dude. Under your watch? Under your watch, it said? Dude, you had something to do with the Kara? It's a little bit suspicious that he's saying, I'll tell you more once you create me. I mean, that's a bit of a red flag, isn't it? I mean, we're holding the cards right now, Alan. I don't, I don't know if you know that's how this works. This is so sick, though. Yeah, nothing's going on on the other side. But, oh, I just wanted to say, did you guys notice that it's 22 seconds? It says 22 seconds. How amazing is that? 22 seconds, and for those who don't know, uh, 12 and 22 are my favorite numbers, so it's just, like, awesome. Are we destined to be playing this right now? Heck yeah. That is amazing. Okay, so this is it, the skeleton. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Oh. The necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the tunnel. You still owe me an explanation. Yeah. I understand. Dude, this music buildup going on right now as well with like the plot thickening is this is some sick storytelling right now. But Robin like put up more of an argument here. <laughs> I wish we got a longer look at some of those pieces as well. This is like our alien containment. Oh, let's get rid of uh, our beacons, everyone. Let's turn them all off. Sick. You guys ready? Let's go. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. Chills, man. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Dude, he looks awesome. He's got four legs. Wow. <laughs> What's up, man? Dude, you look sick. You look sick. Yo, Alan, I'm going to scan you. Alan would win this fight. I stand no chance. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Wow. Architect body. Oh, because he's still in our mind. He is still in our mind here. Dude. Initiate transfer. Wow. That honestly, that looks so sick. That looks really cool. Let's just go. I'm sorry, Alan. Got like four legs. So this is what the architects look like. Like we can finally kind of put a look to that, right? At least the type of them. And the arm does look the same. We remember seeing the arm buried underneath some of that rubble. Dude, this is this is really cool. That's really awesome. Oh gosh, yo, it's a rush, it's a rush. Wait, wait, before we do the transfer, we gotta read up on this. We need to read up on this before we do the transfer. Alien data, architect body. This could be one of the final PDA entries we have. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. And we remember hearing a bit about this between the back and forth, right, of Robin and Alan. Skin, the outer layer of tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart. 
robotic arms. Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body. Wow, by magnetic levitation. Dude, whoa, that's sick. That's like a that's like a new kind of Doc Ock, right? And no kidding, we had Doc Oculus in our first Subnautica playthrough. That's that's pretty crazy, actually. Um, that's really awesome. That's a fun design. So it's like magnetic levitation. That's really awesome. These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems that are capable of performing tasks independently. Limbs. The organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms. Oh, interesting. Okay. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. Mobility. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring. Oh, rough and uneven terrain. Cool. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be... Oh, a secondary movement. A secondary mode of movement for this architect form. So what would be the first? Like swimming? What would be the first? Teleportation. Maybe this is it. The architect body is able to teleport. Whoa. Or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that the architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Really cool. Being able to teleport around like a jumper, that is fun. Dude, Alan, you're, you're getting cooler and cooler. Come on now. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. Chromium borer of Caldwell Prime. So these are all different places from all around the galaxy, I'm imagining, right? An invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Then we've got the um, the putty serpent of this place, this the, of Apostiker. Apostikar? <laughs> Apostiker? Uh, this snake has extremely tensile skin. Prevents it from tearing and allowing it. Prevents it from tearing and allows it to compress itself into small spaces. Interesting. Interesting. So it's taking some of the best from here and from here and from here and there and there. And it's making this like... Is this supposed to be like a perfect organism kind of thing? I'm trying to think what that reminds me of. Just like that... Uh, that idea. Hmm. So we got some astral rays here. Moons of Mardon. Yeah, 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. So that's where they get like their power to teleport from, it sounds like. Then we've got the Shaggy Goats of Olympian. Yo, these are the goats right here. And Shaggy Zoinks! These herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothills of the mountain planet Olympian and are excellent climbers. Yo, so we got the giant geckos of Holt's asteroid. Massive geckos that emit an electrostatic charge on its foot pads. This creates a charge difference in the surface the gecko is climbing. So the markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Dude, this is like just the culmination of, of so much. Dang, man. Yo, should I try leaving and see what Alan does? I'm going to save. I might try leaving really quick. And then let's see. Are we thinking? Would he be like, dude, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Turn around. <laughs> or is this closed? Are we locked out? What? He's got nothing to say? Dude, he's got nothing to say. Okay, I just had to see. I had to see if there was some bonus dialogue where he's like, dude, what are you doing? That's wild. All right, we're back. 
I was kidding, Alan. I was kidding. Don't be mad. I'm going to put you back in this body, but promise me you won't be mad. Seek fluid intake. Oh, that was actually perfect timing. We can actually now just relax. Uh, we still have enough for Alan as well. We've got one water left, and we have a bar for you as well, dude. All right? Let's do it. Initiate transfer. Commencing to transfer. <laughs> yeah, we get knocked out. Did it work? Are we? Wow. Yeah, stretch. Ow. It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Sick, how they talk and it glows like Tron. Whoa. <laughs> hey. What's up, man? Dude, that's a little scary, though. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. <laughs> Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. Yeah, man. Recess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. Dang. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. Mm -hmm. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents yeah. are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated for. Crashed in into it. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find Let's go. the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Yeah. Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> Dude, let's go. So they're not, they're not evil. Yo, what's up, Alan? This is a, an amazing character. That is so cool. That is really, really awesome. Let me know what all of you think of Alan and like Alan's design. It's really cool to see just the variety of different styles, like different creatures we've seen from like the Subnautica team, right? And how fun is that for like talking and stuff? We have the different colors and all of that going. And they have these ro these arms, these robotic arms here that help them. Let's talk to Alan. Please, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for <laughs> now, I have much to prepare. Yo, it sounds good. It sounds good. So the thing is like, I don't, like I wanna, like I wanna help. I don't consider them a massive, like he's surprised that we wanna help. Like we still wanna help even withholding that information, but they were just trying to find the cure for the Kara. So it wasn't like it was on purpose. It wasn't like, you know, he just released it out and wanted to exterminate everything. No, they were trying to find the cure. And then like he said, the parent attacked so that was the sea dragon egg, and I remember that facility. It was the facility where someone couldn't find the entrance. You guys remember that? But it was that facility, and that facility was like on the ground. And you even, didn't we see the skeleton of a creature there as well? From the one that attacked? So we have a new spot. We have a new spot. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. <laughs> So that's Architect Phase Gate. Okay, so this is Northwest. Now, if we look at our map, if we look at our map, that was sick, everyone. That music was some of the best music yet. And just the buildup, I honestly didn't know which way it was going to go. I was really starting to think like, hey, maybe this is a villain we're dealing with. 
because uh, he wasn't giving us all the information, right? So that was that was fun, fun storytelling. Where the heck is this map? Here we go. So northwest, northwest. This is. Oh, I have to see. I imagine it's the gate that we already had seen, but we'll see if I'm wrong. I thought it was the one by that one station. Well, good job, everyone. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. That was awesome. Dude, that was even cooler than I thought it was going to be. Honestly. The exit is right over here where that creature is, unfortunately. But yeah, that was even cooler than I, I would have thought. Seeing the, the cutscene was really awesome, and... Jeez. I think we dodged it. I think we dodged it. I wish we could look behind us. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, we're going so slow. Crashing into everything. Yo, but it's so cool. It's so cool that it's kind of like I even said when we found the last piece of Alan is like we, we've been getting bits and pieces this entire time. So another thing is that he has the robotic arm and he was like levitating us, right? And that definitely reminds me of the technology that was the elevator kind of thing, you know, that hovering thing. It was even making the same sound effect. So that was cool. And do you see how fast he moved? He moved insanely fast. And seeing how massive he was, like super crazy tall. It's one of those things like, yo, if there are aliens out there and they're that much larger than us, it's just wild, right? But luckily he's not like a xenomorph. You know what I'm saying? That kind of alien is is terrifying. That thing just wants to eat you. We have plenty of those kinds of aliens around here <laughs> already. We have a bunch of those. Well, I don't know if um, Marguerite is going to have like new dialogue for us. I would, I would hope so. I can't believe she doesn't want to get like caught up with our adventure or anything. Trying to exit this place is the most confusing part, but I will say these new ion power cells are really putting in the work. Okay, I'm seeing the creature right over there. We're only at 88% power. Last time we were at like 40 something, I think. We got really low. Are you good at navigating through this zone? Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Whoop, he did it. Jeez. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Can we go up? Can we go higher? Okay, please tell me this is a break. Please tell me this is a break. Come on. Wow. Is this guy trolling or what? Jeez. Dude. Oh, this isn't good. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Yo, can we please make some room? Get me the heck out of here. You know he's coming back for round two. And we had the whole squad with us down there as well. Lepron? What did you think of it down there, Lepron? Your first time being down there. I imagine she's exactly where she always is. She's just addicted to that tablet, I, I'm telling you. barely see she is to try it one more time but i mean who am i trying to kid she cares about one thing and one thing only and that's tetris yo come on can we please talk can we please talk it's literally nothing it has nothing to say yeah i think i know exactly where where that is Okay, let's get out of here. It's always uh, a trip to just even leave this spot. 
So here we are. We're back with uh, Marguerite's greenhouse. I just want to see if she was in here, if we would get any new dialogue or anything. The door is open, <laughs> so that's not a good sign. But that's all right. Please! Is anyone here? There's nothing else. All right, we tried. We tried. Now we know. Just close the door. Yeah, just close that. I'm gonna try opening it and see if anything changes on the inside. No. I, I'm not entirely sure what I was thinking would happen. If it was like a Chronicles of Narnia situation, just teleport to a different world. All right, all right, let's let's get out of here. Let's head back to Slothamus. All right, we made it back to Slothamus, everyone. We got the glow whales here. They're saying hello. <laughs> they're they're happy to know the Kara isn't really an issue anymore. Uh, but we're going to head back to base really quick, just to check out to see if those creatures are fully grown now. I think that would be really awesome. And then we're going to head to that and see what happens there i don't know how we're going to get off of this planet because we crash landed no one else is around here we have found many pdas of the whole team that used to be here but no one's here anymore and that's still one of my biggest questions about this game one of the biggest questions i have with subnautica below zero is what the heck happened with these bases, just the outposts, have gotten so destroyed. Why is the Phi Robotic Center completely in ruin? Right? So, I still haven't gotten the answer for that, as far as I know. As far as I know, I haven't gotten the answer for that just yet, but... Yeah. I'm not sure how we're going to get off of this planet. We, we, are, we don't have a rocket. We don't have the blueprints for a rocket. <laughs> we don't have any of that. I don't think it's in the builder as well. I should probably check that out, but I'm pretty sure it's not in the builder. All right, let's put this in to charge for two seconds. Let's see how fast this is going to charge right now. We're at 75% power. Temporary base, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely wasn't here for our whole playthrough, that's for sure. All right, let's go. Let's go check on our new friends. <laughs> and then also, I'm going to take these eggs. Because then we have, like, little... They're, like, around here. Here we go. Let's go bring the eye jelly eggs in there. Nobody's calling us. It honestly feels a bit... What's going on with the flickering? It feels a bit quiet without Alan. Yo, what's up? What is going on? We're having like power surges. This thing's not about to get destroyed or something. What the? Caution? Wait, what does that mean? Caution. Well, you can't take them out. So I don't know why. Yeah, it just has like a caution sticker on it. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, we're good. Everything should be should be fine. Let's go see our new friends. Hello. You want to go to an alien planet? How is it going? <laughs> They're cute. I don't know how they could be above water though. Because it definitely looks like they're water creatures. Unless they fly. They're swimming away from us. Oh, except for this one. Hello. Do you want to go on an adventure with us? They are definitely. They're going to have to join us. I'm going to drop these eggs. Come here, buddy. Join us. We're going to go meet up with Alan. We're going to go uh, activate a teleporter or something. If we let go of them, can we keep, like, picking them up and stuff? Oh, I probably... 
I wonder if I should have left them in there to make another egg, but I doubt they could because it's probably like... I wonder if it's supposed to be like the other one. Um, like the cuttlefish. The cuttlefish couldn't make more. But there's no way that there are only two eggs for this creature in this whole game. Even the cuttlefish had more than two. Hmm. All right, actually we need to, uh, let's get some more water really fast. Let's get these waters here. Make sure we're ready for our trip. Do, 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 do. Well, maybe I should just let them be here. I, uh... I'm going to leave them behind for now. In case they make another egg. They might not even be fully grown. I'll see if they create another egg before. And when we return... We'll see. We'll see if there's anything else. Alright, Lepron, are you ready, my friend? Let's go. Let's do it! We're at 100% charge. That was like two seconds. So we're heading north? We're heading north. Um, it's been even a minute since we... We even went to like this facility, right? But it makes sense. That would be this. It's the one teleporter we haven't used. And it was... Yeah, they told us what it was used for, so. We were heading to the Architect Phase Gate Facility. Can't wait to see what this place is like. So yeah, this is definitely what it was. So this is what I thought that one What's up, buddy? <laughs> Wish us luck. This is what I thought we needed. The anemone heart. Sea monkey! Alright, let's see if we can find the entrance to this. I would like to roll up with our whole... Our whole squad. But, I found this one randomly last time. Come on. Here we go. This has got to be something. Pardon me, everyone. Yeah, this looks promising. The secret entrance. Oh, yeah, this is good. We're, we still have that one snowman out here, so. We made it! Yo. I'll see you all soon, all right? I'm gonna go help out Alan, our friend. He's actually going to be there. Because he said, meet me over there, right? So. This is cool. Last chance if anybody wants to call me. Nobody's calling. Snowman! <laughs> what kind of a monster is going to destroy the snowman? Alright. We know where it is. Let's go ahead and shut off all the beacons. We know our way. We have everything we need. This is cool. This is exciting. This might be the end. We did Marguerite's story. We did um, Sam's story. And now this is the final piece, possibly for Alan. Let's do it, everybody. Just kind of taking in Planet 4546B. You already know. This is it. Does it sound any different? 
So awesome. Yo, can you see movement? I am seeing movement off in the distance. Alan is here. Alan is here. Check it out. Yo, it's sick. They look so awesome. Yo, what's up, Alan? Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Wow. Dude, wait for me, wait. I can't teleport all over the place like you can. Yo, that is so cool. Wow, guys, come on. It's all powered up and ready to go. So is this goodbye, Alan, or what's happening? Do you still wish to leave with me? Yeah. Yeah. Beyond this teleport, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, we actually I don't get to see that. Ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Yeah. Family. I hope you are right. Ah, you know hope. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Dang, this is awesome! This is sick! Oh, I really hope once we go through, it isn't just, uh, boom, credits. And that's, like, where the next Subnautica game is supposed to take place or something. Wow. Um... Dude. Is this seriously the end? Is this the point of no return, everyone? Well, I need to know. I can't hold back. I gotta see what's going on on the other side. Let's drink some water really fast, make sure we're hydrated, and also eat all of these. Secret code word for this episode is going to be Alan. In honor of Alan, everyone, that is the secret code word. I have to go through there. We did a save back at base. So, if this is the point of no return and actually the ending of the game, then I imagine like the last game you can still boot up that one save. I don't know how we're going to go from this alien planet back to like our planet though, but all right. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Actually, I'm going to save right here. I'm saving right here just in case anything goes wrong because y'all mentioned there was a bug. Okay, for real this time, three, two, one. Let's do it! <sighs> Dude, it's the unknown. I'm hearing wind, I'm not like hearing any water or anything, so is this going to be an ocean planet? <sighs> Epic shot. Seeing the green. Dude, it's freezing cold over here as well. My hands are actually like shaking a bit. Dang. Dude, I don't think there's anything here, Alan. And we actually got to see the planet. Robin, you're just in time. The phase <laughs> gate is opening. Oh, cool. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It's showing, showing it report bugs. It was imperative to keep the home world safe. Yeah. In hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome! So this is still Planet 4546B. Okay. Help me prepare the ship. Dude, the angels. Must be moved into place. Well, this is different. <laughs> I'm not giving those back. I'm not giving them back. What the heck is this? What is this? How do I use it? Hold on, hold on. Yo, it's kind of like a hover. Pressing all the buttons. What is up, Alan? What is up, man? This is sick. 
So we are still on planet 4546B. This is like the giant mountain, maybe. I mean, come on. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Definitely getting a little bit of Xbox vibes at the same time all of a sudden. Like original Xbox. That is so sick. How am I, so what am I supposed to move over? The pressure is on. A line pillar, everyone. Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to keep this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. We have another one right over here. Am I supposed to get rid of the snow? Nope, we're good. Align it. We're not dropping anything. Whoa! What an adventure, like, to think that this is where we are versus where we started. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate a ship assembly. Dang. This is just awesome. Let me just look around. I'm not jumping out. I'm not jumping out. I just wanted to look to see, like, what this side of the planet looked like. It's just all snow. Imagine if you could see the ice worms breaking through and stuff. That would be so cool. Anything on this side? We do have a little bit of water. Dude, I wonder if you actually could climb the mountain. If you were to climb that mountain and you could get to this side of it. If this is like where we just were. Use the prawn suit or something. The sense of scale is wild. All right, Alan. I'm ready. Return arms? Come on. Really, Alan? You Don't you still have all of yours, though? You have all four of yours. Well, we can't even open up our, our map. All right, I'm going to return. I'm going to return. I was going to try to barter, but I can't even tab into, like, our PDA. It's going to give them, like, a bottle of water if I could keep the arms. All right, take the arms back. Thank you. The Thank you. Are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. I want that power. Hook me up with that, please. <laughs> That was sick. Join me, Robin. Heck yeah, let's do it. Is everyone ready? <laughs> oh! Ow. Well, that was like extremely aggressive. The levitator was calibrated for heavy <laughs> <laughs> I was you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. That is officially the end. We got everything. I can't believe that's the end, the end. So, like, it's impossible to get to this point. Yeah, it's impossible to get to this point if you don't finish Marguerite's storyline and you don't finish Sam's storyline, right? Like, you cannot get to this point without that. I am so surprised there's not more to Marguerite's side. Like, we didn't even talk to them about any of this going down. Oh, and I, I really thought we were going to see Sam again. I know I keep saying that. I sound like a broken record. I really didn't think she was she was dead. 
so cool though this whole idea of them being like one with the ship we have to brace for a launch we have to hold on <laughs> i wish we had like a seat or something and no offense but this looks so crazy rusty but uh all right let's do it launching in three two one Fish egg discovered at that exact moment as soon as we left the planet. Whoa! Dude, beautiful. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. Ooh. I will experience the sorrow of. Do you say 10,000 souls? <laughs> Dude, I have chills, man. Wow, I'm so, so happy we got to experience this. Come on, man. I hope you find what you're looking for. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a city. And if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. Wow. gosh is that the end subnautica below zero what i can't believe that wow shout out to all the legends to everybody who worked on this game thank you so much for making this the music and that final final scene was just unreal that was so awesome and the storytelling it's just a million you know reasons why subnautica is so awesome wasn't expecting it to to move me like that again the ending the first game did the same thing it's such a rush it's and it seriously was giving me chills all over and it's like i don't want it to end and that was so cool that we got to see the alien planet and there's more to that story to robin and to alan and alan didn't turn out to be a villain that's wild and this music right now is really cool it's nice to listen to this and, and reflect on the experience <laughs> just so unbelievable because it makes me think back to the time when we sat and like listened to the main theme of subnautica in episode one of this series and just took it all in and here we are seeing the credits thank you all so very much for watching this series for supporting this series oh that is sick <laughs> i'm vibing to the music it's incredible thank you all so much for supporting the series for supporting the subnautica below zero journey i can't believe that's the end here we have all the jukebox music Dude, awesome. <laughs> they really have created such an awesome world, such incredible backstory and lore with everything, with the aliens, with the architects, with the creatures, with Altera, these different corporations and stuff. It just is incredible. Yo, thank you to YouTubers and streamers as well. A bunch of legends there. Uh, that is awesome to see um, in this one as well. I remember seeing that in the first game. It's so fun. Are we going to get an end credit scene? Wasn't Altera like asking us for a bunch of money in the other one? Is there anything else? No, that's officially it. Oh, gosh. 
it really is we are back to where we started <laughs> this is how we started the playthrough was it with this and i waited for all of you to log into the game and see the menu for the first time i can't believe that i really uh, i really can't believe that we're not completely done i'm going to log into the game you can see we've got some serious time in here that took one day 15 hours and 33 minutes so we spent some decent time playing subnautica below zero i'm going to load in really fast everyone we can cheer on this penguin one more time but man i wasn't expecting to finish this game today i didn't know this was the end I didn't know this was the end, everyone. I'm going to leave really fast because I do want to go see what those cute cuttlefish creatures are like. I don't want to miss out on that. I wasn't expecting to finish this game today and I'm kind of left with this. It's hard to describe. It's just like a feeling of, uh, I can't believe we finished this, I guess, you know? We spent a lot of time, a lot of time playing below zero. And then also, it's also hitting me right now that I have experienced Subnautica. I have experienced Subnautica below zero. And now I am with a, with a lot of you who are eagerly waiting for the next Subnautica game. And you already know, I'm so thankful for Subnautica. Subnautica has done so much for me. Uh, last year, Subnautica 1 especially, like, just introduced me to so many amazing people, and the first game is, I, I always say it's one of my favorite games of all time, I've never experienced anything like that, it was incredible. And we made so many amazing memories with this, Dangerous with all the characters. This is Seek a new shelter. one with this game though, Dangerous Weather Approaching, Seek Shelter, <laughs> that is... You're telling me we're not going to hear that anymore? What? Oh, that is wild. I can't even get up here. Oh, this is the worst thing we could possibly do. I think I just disconnected our trailer. Oh, it doesn't stop, everyone. If this was the final episode, we needed that, like, you know, dummy diver moment. All right, let's see if we can, like, connect this again. Here we go. Are we the greatest Subnautica player you have ever seen? Definitely not. Definitely. What is happening? Look at this thing. Slothamus has a mind of their own. They're dancing all over the place. <laughs> it's, at, it's at full health, right? All right, we're fine. Oh! Okay, give me that out of here. Seriously, super claustrophobic. It's like, where is the next Subnautica game going to take us? I'm trying to go into that blind. I don't want to even really follow any of the, the stories and stuff. If it's going to take place on 4546B again, I imagine it's going to be a water game. It was really interesting experiencing this one uh, being like all the out of water portions of it. So really cool game. Really, uh, really fun time, you know? And I can't believe it. That was the final episode and hidden base, the temporary base. What is still here? Are you kidding me? Let's go get these new creatures. Oh, and then this, the booster. This is one of the best things they added to this one. I wish that they had an upgrade for the modification station. So you can increase the like overall oxygen capacity with that one. And this is like an amazing way to end it, I think is with these creatures. Okay, are those eggs born? No, they aren't born yet. Let's go ahead and pick them up. They haven't laid any eggs as well. Let's put them over here with our sea monkey friends where they we know no one's going to be bothering them. When I see a sea monkey, here we go. Yo, sea monkey. <laughs> Sea monkey, hello. Hello, my friend. I've got some new friends here, okay? Check it out, we have another sea monkey there. We have some new friends here. I'm dropping them. Hello, there they go. Play. <laughs> Yo, that's the best. There you go, there you go. 
that's the best way, the best note to end on, I think. Something super wholesome, something very lighthearted. That's what this channel is all about. And that's so cool that you can actually, like, command them to stop um, and all of that as well. Oh, look, he's swimming upside down. Oh, they're just showing off. They are loving life right now. That is so amazing. That is so cool. Look, he's, he's going right over to us. <laughs> oh, look at that. And so we're giving the, them those, like, crackers underwater biscuit. And it's holding together so nice. That was like a piece of our nutrient block. Yeah, y'all are cute. I was definitely wrong about you. I definitely thought you were going to be an ice worm, a penguin, or a peeper. I was so wrong. Our, dude, we gotta be careful. I'm about to drown. Oxygen. What are we doing? What are we doing, everyone? I'm about to drown over here. So, now that this is officially the end, uh, I just want to say a massive thank you again to everybody who watched this series whether you watched it every time it was uploaded or you're seeing it months or even a year from now whenever the case may be i am truly truly grateful thank you all so much for the support i hope you had some fun along the way i had an incredible time everyone subnautica below zero another game complete on the channel so there are still some Subnautica things I would like to attempt to try. We never did any mods for Subnautica 1. We didn't do any mods for Subnautica Below Zero. So that's not out of the question for future content. I think that would be really fun to try. I would love to try the hardcore mode sometime. And heck, maybe even like a little fun base building bonus episode sometime in the future because we didn't really do a whole lot of base building in this. It's wild to just take in this whole base. I'm excited to revisit Subnautica sometime. That's for sure. It's just so awesome. All right, little babies here. <laughs> Check it out, everyone. We got eye jellies over here. What's up? What's up, little baby eye jellies? I wonder if there are sea monkey babies. Dude, did we ever find sea monkey eggs? That would be pretty awesome as well, right? They are tiny. They're even, they're much smaller than the eye jellies that we found um, out there in the wild, the baby ones. Now I just gotta know. I just, I need to know. I need to know if those creatures are still going to be outside because it said they follow us around, right? Or are we supposed to pick them up constantly? Hello? Yo, what's up, Philip? Philip is here. What's up, Philip? Thank you, Philip. Everyone, Philip is saying thank you so much for watching and, and saying that you're the absolute best of the best. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> we have Dream and Owlity over here. What's up, two of you getting into trouble, right? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing better attack them. For real, right? That's it, everyone. There's the shot. They're all our friends. We got Slothamus, Lepron, we have our base, and we have the two new creatures as well. And this is me signing off. Thank you all so much for all the love, all the support, and a massive shout out to our channel members and patrons. Thank you so, so very much, everyone. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later. <laughs>